Welcome back to another video. Today we're shopping at Home Depot where as you guys can see we're coming through the lumber department uh, section here. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for more to reviews to deals. As you guys can see you got $2.99 deals from uh, Rigid and Makita. And uh, you got uh, this deal for $2.79 impact driver, uh, drill driver, a circular saw and a flashlight, two batteries, charger in a bag. For $279, not a bad deal for that. Atomic compact tools. It's $199 for the for the rigid. So yeah, there's there's definitely different types of deals going on. Um, mostly on this video is gonna be the clearance. Uh, here the special buy or best buy, whatever you want to call it. Um, you got this deal for $179. Does include a lot of tools, definitely a great starter set for um, a DIY homeowner or home use um, definitely recommend that six piece for you guys uh, we got the, the the foam cans here for two or four ninety eight just under five bucks for two definitely a great deal there to seal up all those uh, holes in the home yeah if you guys haven't uh, used this I haven't I haven't used this if you guys use this before let me know um, how that works um, never seen that before never tried it before so let me know how that uh, cleaner works um, you got uh, some Makita specials here sales you got 99 for that uh, drill driver battery and a charger got brushless there impact driver for 179 impact driver and drill driver and you got that um, kit for three seventy nine, I believe. Impact driver. Um, I believe oh, it's a hammer cool. drill. Thank you. Uh, circular saw. Two ninety nine for that uh, circular saw uh, impact driver drill driver. Sixty three dollars for the sander Bosch. Not really a fan of uh, spending a lot of money on my sanders. Let's just go with the basic sander. If it works, it works, you know. Um, here's a rigid sander, $44.97, not a bad deal. $81 for that circular saw rigid. Quarter cable. $153. Definitely a lot of uh, special buys um, at this uh, Home Depot. Got some Diablo, and that is the so, then, um, the new one from the Milwaukee. 12 volts, definitely really nice search. The search. Well, we got the free battery, 5.0 battery with the purchase of any toolkit. Um, those are some nice plates. 11.97 for a two-piece set. I was taking it out of the package because. I want to know if there was a two piece or a one piece. I just said one package there. That is a two piece. Not a bad deal. Anyways, um, if you buy any of these uh, sets, you get a five amp hour battery. So um, definitely, you gotta, if you want to get into this platform, definitely a great sale there. More Ryobi. Ryobi has one of the largest uh, tool platforms out there. It's definitely not meant. Well, it is some. I guess some contractors are using it now for the for the professional use, but mostly it's for uh, the DIY. You know, the lower cost type of thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely. A, oh, it's a nice light right there for 16 bucks. It's in Milwaukee. It is uh, waterproof, shockproof, and all that. Basically, throw it everywhere. And shit, survive. Might be. I should. I should have just. Uh, I should pick one of these up for the for the channel. Do a review. Maybe next time I'll pick it up. Got some Makita. Makita is definitely a great tool platform to get into. Some great tools. And that's on sale for twelve ninety seven. Not a bad deal there. Um, you got a Max Fit case with some bits it is the clear uh, case so that is definitely a plus with these uh, DeWalt cases 
you can see what's inside without going through all those you know so if you go through all those you can lose a lot of time there going if you have five or six you're finding a particular tool or a bit you can't find it without that clear case you got some batteries there all the batteries from other well not, not other batteries I got Ryobi Dewalt Milwaukee great tools a lot of tools all the flashlights gotta say that when the stands out it's always the Milwaukee the, the big old rocket light they have more Milwaukee fuel Dewalt gotta say that's a nice fan a little too expensive for my for my um, pocket, but pretty much a great fan there. Some Dewalt. I say they look pretty nice. Pretty good uh, contractor grade tools. And those are the XRs. All those are the XRs. So it's like the previous. Uh, not the platform, but the previous tool that they had. Uh, These are some nice polishers right there for the drill. I was just uh, looking into that because sometimes you need all those. Uh, if you want to polish something, you got the attachments right there for the drill. Got some nice accessories there. And you got some Bosch bits. A nice kit includes everything all right uh, pressure washers yeah we're I was looking at some pressure washers because uh, I need to get one um, I do have or used to have the the Portland pressure washer from Harbor Freight and uh, I had to get rid of that because I, I had to save up some space but now I need another one so I'm um, planning on getting that Ryobi or or that uh, 17 psi, um, 1700 psi pressure washer, 119.99. I gotta say it's not, it doesn't have bad reviews. Everybody that uh, has that one goes and swears by it, you know, because uh, especially if you're gonna be washing a vehicle, you don't want to put too much pressure on your vehicle, especially your paint. Your paint, you don't want it to fly off. Especially with all these uh, higher. Um, PSI pressure. If you go higher than 2,000, I think that's a little too high for the for the vehicle. Not unless you're cleaning like, you know, the bottom of the vehicle or stuff like that. But still, 16, 1700. I think that's enough. That's a really nice one. It does include like the, some sort of reel so you can reel up the the hose. 229 out. Not a bad deal there. I was trying to get away from the gas. Usually the gas gives you problems in the long run because you do have to do maintenance and all that. So mainly trying to stay with the uh, electric. And I do have a solar system there I can charge all these batteries. Um, currently at the Ryobi platform I do have Dewalt. Um, and I got some other Harbor Freight uh, tools that, that I have the chargers and batteries for. So I'll get those to good use especially with these garden tools. Yeah, nobody nobody buys those uh, those tools that you connect to the wall basically anymore. All you have to do is just uh, charge the battery and pretty much put it in the charger, charger, remove it, put it in the, in the tool, and you're good to go. Even these gas ones, nobody's going for these gas. Oh, that's the Royal OB backpack. Professionals, I guess, they're still going for those uh, gas powered. You got some generators there. Oh, that's the like a plug adapter, 30 amp. Looks so like I do have a generator. I'm trying to get a, a plug. I'm fairly new to these uh, 
plugs and generators and stuff like that so if you guys have some advice leave, feel free to leave me a comment down below um, but yeah then you got some uh, generators there at some Honda for $1,099 a little pricey um, just depends I guess if you want a, a re really reliable for years and years to come Honda is a great one um, they do you have to put down a lot uh, in the as in money wise it yeah. do cost a lot of money right obi is a good alternative but yeah honda's really pricey yes, sir. you got the weed whackers right there uh, most of those are electric so you guys see uh, i don't know if you guys paid attention but most of the gas power tools are like becoming less and less on these home depots and loves like most of these like I would say about 60 or 70 percent of all these tools are electric battery operated that's what everybody's buying so and I could definitely understand because I do have a gas and I do have a electric you know the one that you hook up to the extension cord um, and I would love to have a battery operated weed eater. you know it's just take so much off of it. those are the lawnmower uh, batteries there for twenty nine ninety seven, and every time I hit somebody's house because I, I I'm on the field all the time, you know, in people's houses doing work and stuff like that. Every time I go to somebody's house, all they have in their garage is just electric tools or power tools. You know, battery operated, obviously. And uh, if you guys have one of these weed eaters, make sure you guys get the ones. They are designed for your weed eater because not the gas weed eaters don't get the same, you know, uh, wire or string. Every brand has their own thing you know, for better performance. Anyways, I thought I just want to share with this with you guys. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for more tour reviews to deals. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.